in this video, I'm going to take this uh, Proline, what is this here? It is a Monster Fusion Brute Bash body, and I'm going to install a super thick motocross grade uh, graphics kit on it. This is a very special product that I offer. Uh, it's not uh, a full coverage design. It's, it's designed for bashers. It's designed to last. It's designed to take that beating and still add some contrast to your plain white uh, Proline Brute Bash style bodies. So uh, without any further ado, here we go. Okay, so what I got here is I got uh, part number 3498-15 and this fits the uh, Traxxas Slash 2 and 4 wheel drive trucks. I'm going to blow through this video pretty quick. This is going to be a dry installation. If you, you landed on this video uh, because you scanned the uh, instruction code on your graphics kit you bought from us, uh, this video will only really apply to this body. So uh, you can watch it if you like, but really this is for the people who have bought this graphics kit or a theme uh, that fits this body in particular. So let's start out with what we actually have here. The, uh, the kits for some of the uh, unbreakable bodies, which is what this is, uh, are much thicker than regular RC kits that I sell. So if you, if you were to compare this to the thickness of something, it is about as thick as a credit card. And you can tell its thickness by me just holding this out and it's able to suspend itself like that, okay? So you can see it's super thick, uh, super, super aggressive uh, adhesive on the back, and it is designed specifically for this type of hard to stick to plastic, okay? So the first thing you wanna do with, your, with these kits is take your body, take some out rubbing alcohol. This happens to be 91%. I'm gonna put it on my cloth, and I'm just gonna go over the entire body, make sure I get all the oils off of it, uh, any grease, any dirt, anything like that, okay? So I've already done this before I started rolling the camera and I'm just gonna go over it really quickly here for demonstration purposes. One of the things about these uh, unbreakable bodies is Oh, this one in particular, if you notice, when it, if it were to land upside down, these uh, door pillars here are raised up. So you're going to hit those door pillars first. If you land on the side, you're going to hit the fenders and this door pillar like that. You really can't hit this area very often or this depression zone here on the, uh, on the roof. And especially with the hood, there's a lot of protection here. Um, so this kit has been designed around those areas. It's just enough graphics to give you uh, some artwork and some contrast. And the price is right because it's not a ton of graphics that you can go out and bash it and not really have to think much about your investment. So I think the first thing we're going to do is probably the hardest part. And we're going to put this hood on here. Now you can see that there's a raised and depressed area right in here. And we're going to actually make this super thick graphic go up, over, and down this in one piece. Uh, a lot of my kits, I, I try to cut around these pieces, but what I wanted to do here, because this plastic is so hard to stick to, I wanted to get as much real estate of the graphic onto the plastic so it bites the most. So without any further ado, let's do that. Uh, what I want you to pay attention to on this particular kit, there's actually little tiny air egress holes, and they're located on the hood. And these, these little holes, are in place to let air out in specific places. And those specific places are right here and here and down here and down here. And you're gonna see why that's important here in a minute. Okay, so unlike most of my kits, I have uh, the customer, I suggest to the customer that it be soapy water uh, applied. You float it with some soapy water. We're not gonna do that with this. And the reason is, is this plastic doesn't have a good initial bite. So if need be, you can peel it up and set it back down. Unlike uh, 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 the Lexan bodies, 
where as soon as this touches on a dry ply, it would bite almost immediately. And if you were to lift it up, you would leave a residue behind or distort the Lexan body. So my hands are clean. First thing I'm gonna do is just pull this back. And again, I, I wanna show you how thick this is. I mean, look at that. That's like, it's like a credit card or a Lexan sheet you'd get at your, your Home Depot. I mean, it is, it's some serious stuff. So I'm gonna dry apply this. And the first thing I wanna do is line up Again, I'm gonna have to do this sort of upside down. I'm gonna hold it and hover it like this. And you can kind of see where it goes just based on the body lines. And it, don't worry if you mess up, you know, your placement. You can always take it back. And I'm just gonna pinch the sides for now and let the middle sort of float up high. It looks pretty good. I think what I need to do is rock it back this way. So I'm just gonna pull it off really fast and try again. Looks pretty good. Front looks pretty good. That looks good, I'm happy with that. What I wanna do is just go around this outside and tack it like that, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do, and you cannot do this without heat, we're gonna turn our heat gun on and we're gonna heat this quite a bit, okay? Now pay attention. See how it's starting to fold down now? You can see, hopefully, it's going down on its own, okay? So I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna take my rag, wrap my finger around it, and I'm just gonna go right up the center with my finger like this, just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna come back in a swiping motion. I'm gonna go back and forth, just like that. This cools fast, so you need to add some more heat. And I'm gonna come right up along here, like that. And you can already see that that has bonded down over that big ridge. This is the importance of me tacking these sides first, because if, if I would not have tacked them initially and I pushed that down, it would wanna pull in on me, okay? By doing this, we're stretching it out like, sort of like rubber or a car wrap, if you've ever seen a car wrap installed. So now I'm just gonna keep working my way across, just like this. And now I'm gonna go down this channel, pushing the air out, and this is where those holes that I have pre-cut into this for you are helpful. See, there's two there, one there, one there, and there's one in this de vent depression down here and down here. Now, this is designed assuming you have not cut the vents out yet. If you have cut the vents out, install over top of the opening and then trim it out. If you haven't cut the vents out yet, install like I am and then you can come in and trim it out once the graphic has been uh, adhered, okay? So I'm just going over the graphic now. This entire thing is down from this center line over with the exception of this depression. I need some pretty serious heat to get that depression in the vent to go down, okay? So I'm gonna find the depression, starting at the edge, on this side and work towards that hole. There's a little air hole right there. And just work towards that hole, and then down and towards that hole, and that's it. Done. I mean, it's solid, okay? So now I'm gonna come across here. Here's my line. I'm gonna work across in a sweeping motion. Now here I am at this. I'm gonna push it down like that. And you can see it's like butter. It just goes straight down. I'm gonna keep sweeping back and forth, right across, just like that. And now I'm back to this depression again. I'm gonna find where that air egress hole is. It's right here. I'm gonna push down on this side first and work towards that hole, okay? And then there's a little channel up here. I'm gonna to work towards the hole and then I'm gonna close the hole off just like that. 
Okay, so I've gone back over this, checked for any air bubbles if there was one. I went ahead and just popped it with my knife, warmed it up a little bit and pushed it down. Now I wanna get into this recess here. Again, look at the two holes. We're gonna work towards those two holes. First, we gotta heat it up. I'm gonna take my cloth, wrap my finger around it like I did before. And I'm just gonna go down the center first like this and then I'm gonna work my way back towards my air egress holes here and here until I close them off. And that's it. So this hood is now done. Well, the center of the hood is done, I apologize. So there it is. I'm gonna grab the next piece. And I do not think that this, yep, it has one air egress hole, which is in that vent recess, just in case you're not using the vents. So let's go ahead and just sort of get this lined up here a little bit. You can see that the artwork lines up you can use that as a guide i'm just going to give it a little lift here and reset this okay so i have this lined up i'm going to give it another quick lift here i like the way the front went down but i didn't really like the way the back did so i'm just going to give it a little bit of heat while i hold it up on my thumb i'm going to take my rag and i'm just going to sort of go back and forth here as I work my way up, I'm going to lift it up and reset it like that so I keep my gap even. Now I have a little ripple here, so I'm just going to heat it up and just use my thumb and then just work the memory out like that. Now I still have this depression to work on. And you can see there's an air egress hole right there. So I'm just going to start here and work towards the hole like we did before, just like that. And there is the other side. Okay, we are on to the next piece, which is right here. So I'm going to grab that off of my sheet. And I'm just going to pluck that air hole out, just like that. Maybe you guys can see that air hole right there. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Again, look how, look how sticky this stuff is. I mean, it, it's a good product. Uh, it will stick on these bash bodies really well. I'm just gonna line this up like that, and then I'm gonna use my heat. I'm gonna take my rag and just work my way back and forth in a sweeping motion. Gonna lift this up so I can get that ripple out. And I'm gonna use my rag because my finger sticks to the vinyl too much. And just give it a little bit more heat. If you end up getting a, too much of a ridge like I did and you need to reset it, just wait for it to cool a little bit and then you can come back with your knife and lift it up and try again, okay? See how that heat took the memory of that ridge right back out? So you can have another shot at it. So there I, I decided to spread the ridge out into two different ridges. And what that did was it gave me more surface area to sort of spread that bad memory out. Got a little bit of a bubble here, which I think is going to work its way down into this pocket. Let's see here. Maybe I'll just lift this up and try again. You can just get that bubble out. There we go. That's better. Okay. And 
we're just going to sweep our way forward here and now we've got this depression on the front so like every other depression we did we're just going to push down and towards that hole and there you be that looks pretty good okay let me go ahead and get our headlights on This headlight is going to go over here. And we'll pull the other one off. Put it here. And then we're going to do the grill. a little bit crooked it's hard for me to put these on because I got to look over top of it to get it sort of on camera that's easier when I can stare straight ahead at it there we go okay let's get the windshield on next I'm just gonna Get it lined up there. Looks like I need to reset. Might be easier for me to sort of line it up this way. There we go. That's better. I'm going to use a little bit of heat to get this to sort of cut down on me. Just like that. There we go. And we'll just bring it around and there's the windshield. Let's go ahead and do the roof next. Uh, I'm gonna pull that off of my sheet here. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna line it up on the front, at least initially. See how we look back here. Gonna make sure these vents Looks like I need to go more forward up towards the windshield. Might do it. Even more forward. There we go. I think that might be where I need to be. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is just get it tacked down in the front and then it just falls backwards into place here. You don't really need too much heat on this piece because it's pretty flat. So I'm going to go ahead and work on getting the air out. like that. Now I'm going to add some heat for those areas. I'm just going to use my finger wrapped around this towel, sort of push that down in. Just like that. There we go. And that piece is actually done. Okay? Let's see if I can get a good camera view here. You can maybe see just how thick that is. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, next to indestructible. Looks like I need to just adhere the front just a little bit here. Here we go. But it's, it's ready to bash. I mean, you don't need to let this thing sit out in the sun and cure or anything like the other uh, Lexan bodies that we do. Uh, let's move on to, I guess, the side here. I'll grab a window. Okay. And this is super easy. I mean, it's just a matter of grabbing it, lining it up in the, in the depression there. 
And if you don't, like I can't when I'm looking over top of the body like this, just lift it off and reapply. There we go. Looks good. Uh, let's move on to the lower panel there. Looks like I have the other side. Yes, I do. Okay, that's okay. We'll do it that way. I have to try and turn this to some degree so I can see. One of the things about these bodies is you can clearly see that when they're made, they are they look to be hand trimmed. So you need to pay attention to that and take that into consideration when you're on these lower panels because there could be more of a gap down here on one side and not the other. And I can see that that's what's taking place here. So I'm just gonna heat this up. Then I can force it to do what I want it to do, which is sort of arc up like that. And now I'm gonna lift that side up and while it's still warm, just sort of work my way down just like that. A little bit more heat. That looks good. Looks like we're gonna have to trim the bottom of this because of the way this was trimmed from the factory, which is no big deal. Okay. I'm gonna grab my knife. Like you do with a window tint, just use your finger as a guide and just come right up along the bottom like that and you can just take it right off, okay? So now we'll grab the upper piece. This piece is going gonna, is gonna to sit right down inside this notch here. There we go. Sorry guys if I don't have this face in the camera. I just have to get it lined up first and then we can go through this together. Okay, so there's that. I'm just gonna get that down and then I'm gonna need a little bit of heat here. There we go. Let's do the window. That's gonna go just like this. Again, I'm just gonna turn this for a minute so I can get it lined up. There you go. And just give it a nice straight push back there. All right, so now why don't we put this piece on and we'll move on to the rear fenders. Okay, so let's grab the next piece here and we will get it lined up. this and we'll flip it around and we're going to do the other sides here Like we'll have to trim that bottom again. You can see where they, you can see where they cut it on an angle there. It's gonna add some heat. And then work my way up that groove. And you can see there's this, there's a strategic back cut there to help you land that down in that groove. I think I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit warm it up 
so I can give it a little bit of a stretch and sort of bend it up without having to cut it. There we go. You see that I missed that bottom now and I got it closer to this line, okay? Let's add the next piece up. Let's try and align the artwork the best we can. It looks pretty good. There we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna work my way up like that. I'm gonna add a little heat here. And there we have it. That goes up there just like that. And I think I have a piece that needs to go here. I got that just a little bit, a little bit too low there. I'm gonna peel it off and try again. When I peel it off, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit so it gets its natural form back. This time, I'm gonna start it at the bottom so I have that baseline and I don't get it too curled up. Just like that. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Let's move on to this back piece here, which is quite large. And I need to do a quick little sort of alignment here, see where we are. Let's bend this down, make sure we don't overlap down there. And we don't, that looks good. Okay. Bend that in, and we'll just go back. I'm going to need a little bit of heat for this depression here. There we go. And there's the back piece, okay? Let's work on the rear fenders. Okay, let's move on to the rear fender. It's gonna, there's one air egress hole in the rear fender, so I can pluck that out. Figure out where I am here. Get oriented. So this air egress hole right there is gonna go in the vent depression, okay? Let me just make sure I have, I have the incorrect one. So we'll go over to this side. And on this, I'm just gonna tack it here and then I'm going to take it and sort of pull a little bit and tack it there. And then I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to split this ridge into a couple ridges if I can. Keep the warmth on it and just work those ridges out. I'm going to worry about that in a little bit. While this is warm, I want to get this arc down. Got a little bit of an air bubble there, so I'm just going to pull it up and reset it. And again, because I had this already set, I can get away with that without any uh, unalignment issues. Okay? Again, this is now fixed, so I want to, I'm going to pick it up and try and get this deep ridge out. I'm going to give it some heat. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, of a stretch here while it's warm. And it's going to rock my thumb just like that. And that's pretty much done. Now we have to tackle this depression here. I'm just going to take my thumb and rock my thumb down into that depression like that. And, and then you want to rock your thumb over top of the little air egress hole last because you need that channel for the air to come out to stay open. 
and there we go. There it is, okay? Let's do the other side. Gonna pull the air vent hole out before I bring it over. Same process, just in reverse. Just like that. Add some heat. I'm going to fix the center down. Okay. And I'm going to lift this back up, give it a little bit of heat, and then I'm going to give it that stretch like we did on the other side. Because we've got a compound curve here. It goes this way and this way. So we have to get that sort of stretched out There you have it, okay? So now I need to heat up that depression. Right there. And just work down and over to that air hole. Just like that. And I believe that that is everything. We have some tail lights to put on here. Oh, let's see. These go like this. Okay. And this one goes over here. So as you can see, this is a super fast and easy way to dress up your, uh, your Traxxas Slash body by Proline. Um, you can pretty much do this in the morning before a race day if you want, or a gathering. I mean, it's pretty much that easy. And it's, I mean, you can't hurt these graphics. Um, of course, if you flip it upside down and it scrapes for 50 feet on the pavement, the, the uh, thick over laminate, there's like, I think 20 mils of clear, heavy duty, thick over laminate on here. Uh, you know, it'll scratch that, but it should not bite down into the graphics for a while. I mean, you've got a lot of ride time you can put on this. Um, just make sure all your edges are down uh, before you go riding. You don't have any, any graphics that are sort of still curled up a little bit. Use your heat gun, go back over it, make sure everything is down because if you have an edge that's not quite down and you start to get dirt on there on your first run, that's it, it's done. And, and you either need to slice that off and get rid of it or it'll keep working its way back in run after run. I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get these and other themes for your Proline uh, Brute Bash. I guess it's a flow tech body for the Traxxas Slash 2 and 4 wheel drive. Thanks for watching.